I'm sure the real Easter Bunny wouldn't be happy if he saw these eggs. Or she. <laughs> Not sure if it's a he or she. But you know what? They are darn cool. This is a completely different way to decorate Easter eggs. And I like to call it tattooing your Easter eggs. This is basically um, fiber. It's wool. And what I've done is I've done, I've used the felting technique in order to decorate all of these eggs. Look how cute this is. I have to show you this. I just set this down here. Look, how cute is that? It's fuzzy and it's soft. It's beautiful. Look at this one. I think these are so cool. My son actually made this one. You would know it. It's a, he made it because black, he's got black and everything. But these are just adorable and they're super easy to do. So here's what you need in order to tattoo your Easter eggs. First of all, you need some styrofoam eggs. Any size will do. You can use large eggs or the really little eggs. I've got a couple medium ones here. And then you're gonna need, this is um, basically wool and it's hand dyed wool and some of it it's a little bit coarse and some of it's really soft and smooth and you can buy it um, by the color or sometimes you can get um, combo bags look at this one this one is just beautiful all the different colors it has I just think it's yummy anyway you need some of this um, some of the wool it also comes in yarn like um, strands if you will in different colors as well and it's also wool and then you're going to need a felting needle. Now, a felting needle is a little bit different than a typical needle, is that it's sharp and it's pointy and it has barbs in it. And basically what it does, if I, if I run my finger across this, um, towards the tip towards the end you can feel the barbs and the whole point of having a barb like this is to shove the wool into fibers now we're not shoving into fibers right now we're shoving into styrofoam so but you can shove it into fibers and what I mean by that is on clothing check this out a couple examples here of some stuff that that I I made look at this how cool is that and when you shove the, the wool into the fiber, it, it will stay. If I show you the, the inside of the jacket, you'll see that it literally latches on to the fibers and it won't go anywhere. I mean, I can wash this jacket and it'll stay exactly where it's supposed to, where I put it. So um, it's pretty cool. And I did this one here too. I mean, it's just a neat way to take a, a simple little jacket and you know, add a little something, something to it. You know, that's what I love about it. Okay, so um, again, we're gonna we're gonna tattoo instead of fiber. We're gonna tattoo styrofoam Easter eggs. So it's really simple. This whole technique, whether you're doing it on fiber or on styrofoam, it's the same thing. So you pull out some wool, and um, less is more to begin with. And let's just uh, let's just do the the cap here of this egg and you're gonna see how kind of a little goes a long way I'm just gonna lay it on here and it's a pretty um, intricate and um, well thought out technique and it basically goes like this <laughs> okay that's it seriously I'm just I'm just shoving it into the styrofoam now the thing that you don't want to do is get too carried away because the styrofoam as opposed to fabric is really soft and you know you can get kind of carried away and it'll it'll all go on the inside so um, again less is more so we'll just anchor it in just like that there. go like that okay I could probably use a little bit more green there and of course I don't have any more of that green Oh well so I'll use a different green or I'll use blue now it doesn't really matter even if you cross over and combine and combine the colors, it it doesn't um, become like it's not like if you mix you know two colors together, it becomes a different color. It's not like that at all. So these stay pretty true. And I'm using a lot here. I'm gonna spread it out just a little bit. Uh, as far as the kids go, using this hmm, probably not a good idea. But, like I said, I let my son do it, but he's, you know, older. He's 13, so he was allowed. 
So we'll just go like this, and then maybe I'll just pull this apart here. It rips really easily. And like I said, if you decide to do it on fabric, it's also washable. So I'm just going to go around and I'm going to decorate this entire egg. And if I have any holes, I can go back in and fill in the holes. And if I wanted to, I can go in and maybe I'll take this one here. And if I wanted to, I can go in and I could add some, some different dimension to it by using the strands of yarn, not yarn, but wool. And in that case, you're just going to take one punch and just kind of anchor it in. You're not going to use that whole shoving technique that I just did. So you just anchor it in and then you can move it around and twist it around and create any kind of design you like. And what's really cool, if you don't like it, you can pull it out and start all over again. So, you know, there's no right or wrong to it. So if you get creative and start thinking about, you know, what real Easter eggs look like, you can come up with some really cute and clever designs. Oops, and this one here, um, I just simply used yarn. I used the wool here, and then I used some really pretty loopy yarn to give it a whole different look. So you know what? Just let your imagination run wild and have a good time with it, okay? So there you go. I'll put all the information on where to find wool and felting needles on the website, okay? Have fun.